Hey, I hope you are not bored with our All Aboard series where we share all different kinds of um, beautiful boards. In our library, we have some awesome books that go in depth with how to put them together, how to do different themes for your boards to handle the type of guests that you're having. Um, we are going to show a savory board today, and then next Monday, our final board will be the breakfast board. So I'm gonna show you, um, we put together a shopping list, and we're gonna link this shopping list to our um, Facebook post and YouTube post for you. And we're gonna link a great picture, a close up, so that you can see it close up. I've already put it together. But the reason I've already put it together is to keep you from getting bored with me putting them together <laughs> and to allow you to understand um, what you want to do when you design your boards is you wanna think about various things like um, textures, you want to think about color. You want to think about a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, a little bit salty so that you have a variety. You want some crunch, you want some softness. So in putting it together, you give your uh, guest a variety to graze on. Now, last week we had a dessert board and I said it could not be called a charcuterie board. That is because it had no dried, cured or smoked meats on it. And that's really what a charcuterie is. I think a lot of us like to think of it as a fancy French term for an adult Lunchable because that's really what we want is these cute little uh, snacky lunches or um, cute little snacks for during the day when we're hungry and we want to munch. And they're ideal for that. They're ideal for you being able to set out something for your guest so that you can enjoy being with them and visiting with them and they are able to have a bite to eat before you have your main meal or before you have whatever it is you're entertaining and doing um, that day. It just provides a, a light little feast and, and grazing opportunity. Okay, from our list, um, what you need to start with is the real meaning of charcuterie board is those meats. So what you want to look for is make sure that you have a combination of um, dried, selected dried, smoked, or cured meats. And here on my tray today, I've bought hard salami, which you can also roll up with cream cheese and put on there, salami cream cheese rolls, and those are delicious. Um, you, I also have some garlic smoked um, summer sausage which is good and I've just uh, chopped it rough on here and laid it on the tray in a couple of different areas. The next thing you wanna look for is cheeses. You wanna make sure that you have a combination of some soft cheese that's sliced, maybe a harder cheese that you've cut in cubes. You can even buy the cubes pre-cut. Um, you want some harder cheeses like maybe a Parmesan, um, cheese. I have Gruyere, Havarti, and Gouda on our tray today. And then you want to make sure that you have some crunch. So you want a variety of crackers. I have an herb cracker here. I have some pita crisps. Um, and that's going to give you a little crunch as well as your nuts. You want um, a combination of some condiments like I have a spicy olive and I have sweet bread and butter pickles. So I have that contrast of the spicy and the sweet. You also want some soft cream cheese for your crackers and either a fig jam or um, a pepper jelly. I like pepper jelly with the cream cheese. Put it on the cracker, I put a little cream cheese and I put a little pepper jelly on top and it's that contrast again of the soft creamy cheese with the spicy jelly. Um, okay, I also think it's a good idea to have some dried fruit as well as nuts. I have a salty uh, sea salt cashews here and I've put them in a little container. I also have some dried uh, cranberries on the tray. So that's gonna give you that variety, the contrast. It's gonna help your color on the board with lights, creamy looking things, dark things, the nice meat color that's in here. 
contrasted with the green. The other thing I do, I grow rosemary, all kinds of herbs, thyme, rosemary, and um, I have some eucalyptus. Today, I've cut my eucalyptus from my pot, my garden, and I've placed it, um, just scattered a little bit on the board to give it that fresh, um, real Tuscan look or um, French uh, country look. So, Again, this is the easiest thing to do to put out so that you can enjoy entertaining and you aren't cleaning up a massive amount of dishes. You aren't uh, cooking for hours baking a pie. You um, are putting things out so that you can enjoy your company too. And there's no cleanup when you're done. And usually there really isn't because it's all eaten. So, okay, we'll see you next Monday for our breakfast board, which would enable you like on a holiday morning to get up, put the board out quickly and be able to um, enjoy your family and your friends that you have over for the holidays. All right, see you next week. Thank you for joining us for our savory charcuterie board.